Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing how I dye my hair. Um, I've got this request before, before I disappeared from YouTube a couple months ago. So I thought I'd give it a try. I just went to Ulta and bought my hair dye. And my roots are growing in badly and it's the day I need to wash my hair. So I'm going to dye my hair today. The number one question someone always asks me is what hair dye I use. And I use the L'Oreal Ferra. Now, I used to only use this one, the R57, but recently I went in using R37 and I mixed these two together. Since I have long hair, I always have to use two bottles. So I started um, mixing these two because this one always started getting too light and I didn't like the red it came out to be. So I thought that this deep burgundy helps set off the bright brassy orangey color this one gives. So when I mix these two, it gives me the perfect red that I love. And of course it starts out a little darker than I want it to be, but then it washes out and then it gets to the color I really want it to be. So I just use these drugstore. I know it's expensive for me to dye my hair and I do dye it myself. Sometimes my cousin does help me, but recently I've just been doing it myself. It's just easier and I don't have to rely on someone. This has just been someone working for me. My aunt who was a hairdresser told me that she's always left it on for 45 minutes on the roots and then done the rest of the hair and then left it on for about 10 minutes or five. Usually I leave it because I'm already letting it sit longer. So it's just what works for me. You don't have to do it this way, but that's just how I've been told to do it. I don't know how other hair professionals do it. I'm not a hair professional by all means, but it's just what works for me, okay? So I thought I'd show what comes in each box. So the first thing that comes with it is a shimmering conditioner developer, and this is the 25 volume. It also comes with a conditioner and a shampoo, which I love. I love the conditioner that it comes with because it leaves like a shimmer to your hair. It comes with the hair dye and this is the R37 and it also comes in with extra color boosting drops which are bright 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 red so don't get scared of these drops it just helps it and then it just comes with direction and gloves inside. The second box it's exactly the same it's just the 57 color so the same developer the shampoo, conditioner, the gloves and instructions. I forgot to mention the, I didn't see it in the box earlier, but it comes with the aromatic shimmer serum and you also apply these in the hair dye. So yeah, the other box just has the same color booster and the hair dye. So I start by mixing it all together. So you will need a bowl, I just got this from Sally's, and a brush. It does come in with the squeezy bottle, but for me to apply it on myself, it's kind of harder. I use this to brush the hair dye on. And excuse my hair right now, but it is dirty and messy. I just came home from school, so bear with me. It's going to get a lot messier. <laughs> you will also need a comb, and I just use a white tooth comb. Much easier to comb out my hair. And just hair clips. So let's get started. So here I am pouring in each solution of the hair dye the R37 and the R57. This is the developer that's 25 volume. I'm going to pour in each bottle. I'm going to try to get as much as I can out of the developer because I will need a lot of hair dye to dye this long hair of mine and I have a lot of it. Now I'm just going to go in with the color boosting drops. I'm going to add both of them to the mixing bowl and just be careful about pouring it in. They, they are really pigmented and they do stain your hands more than the regular dye. I'm now going to add the serum drops as well. Sometimes these things are very hard to open, but I'm going to add both of the packages. And it's just like an oil type thing. It's supposed to help with the hair dye and make a smoother application. So here I'm just using the end of the brush. I think it helps to just get the basic mixing done. And once I do that, I'm going to go in and use the other side of the brush with the bristles and do further mixture. You want to make sure that your mixture is very well mixed. You want everything to be the same color. You can see that it's not completely mixed yet and you see some darker reds that has to do with the color booster. So you just want to give it a good mix. So first I start off by combing out my entire hair. My hair gets very tangled really easily. So I just want to give it a good brush. It makes the process easier and when you're applying the color you don't have tangles everywhere. I'm just watching some YouTube videos while I do my hair. I couldn't do the talk through 
because that would take way too much time. So now I'm going to get my comb again and split my hair down the middle. This is just how I part my hair first. So once it is split in half, I'm going to section off the side of my hair and clip it because I'm going to be working with that later. With this side, I'm going to section that off in half again so I can work in smaller sections. It's going to make it easier for me in the end to get the roots done. It makes the process go way faster and it's just overall easier to apply and get an even coat. So I start by applying the hair dye to my roots and near my forehead. I have to go pretty far down because I have a lot of baby hairs and I like to make sure that I get them all. And in the summer my baby hairs do get really blonde so I just like to cover them up really well. So I go by section, section, start in the front and work my way to the back of my hair. Having it in four sections makes it easier and I get an even coat throughout my hair. So I'm only going about an inch and a half into my hair because that's how far my roots have grown out. And I just want to cover them evenly and it takes longer to process so roots always go first. And my roots are really dark because my natural hair color is pretty brown and you can see how far they've grown out. So I just want to cover them evenly and start from there first. So I have experience on trying to get my roots done pretty fast. I've done this multiple times, but if you are doing it for your first time, I suggest you have someone help you. It's way easier. I've just known how to do it ever since. I first got used to doing it with the mirror behind me, and then now I just need a mirror in front of me and I know what I'm covering. And sometimes I do double check just to make sure, but it's pretty easy to tell now. So I will continue on this section until it's completely dyed and then I will pin it up and move on to the next section. So now I'm moving on to the bottom section of my hair. I am first applying where my forehead is down to my sideburns and I will just try to evenly coat that first and yeah you do get it all over yourself. I will at the end of this video, you will see. And I'm just moving on to the rest of the roots, um, just covering them evenly. And I find that using the tip of the brush really helps me to section off the pieces of hair. I don't have to reach for a comb at all. And I already have it in my hand, so it's very useful. I'm just going to continue this until I finish this section. And you can see I do get it on my ears. I will get it everywhere by the end of this video. But I find that this hair dye is really easy to remove. And after I finish this section, I'm going to move on to the top section. So once I'm finished with this section, I'm going to pin it up and it helps me just have the hair out of my way. I'm going to move on to the top section now and this is actually where my camera died so I had to charge it but I couldn't stop dyeing my hair because I had to keep going so it just skips through the top section as you can see I already dyed it so I'm just going to clip it and move on to the bottom. So I thought flipping over would actually help you guys to see how I evenly coat my roots on the back of my head without using a mirror and I just make sure that I, I evenly coat my roots and I get quite a few amount of product on the brush to brush through the roots so I make sure it's really coated thick and then I just keep moving on and sometimes I will double check to make sure I'm coating it correctly but I just keep doing this until the bottom section is done. I will pin up all my hair up and I will set the timer for 35 minutes and this is just what I prefer because it takes me longer to do it by myself and this is also the time where I try to remove as much dye as I can off my face so it stains less. As I said before this stain is really easy to remove 
and I don't come out of the shower with all these red streaks all over and I do get it on my arms even because of my hair how long it is so I am done with my 35 minutes I am going to section off each piece as I go and I'm going to start at the bottom because it is where I will keep the hair dye longer because it will take me longer to fully coat my entire hair I like to start by brushing it out to have no knots and then I will section the rest of the hair so I like to use the back of my hand as support to get the hair dye on the hair since my hair is really long it really helps to use the back of my hand to just brush it on and once I brush it on throughout the hair I like to make sure it's evenly coated and especially at the ends after I fully coat my hair I like to take a white tooth comb and brush out the hair and then apply more hair dye because I like to make sure I did not miss a spot so by brushing it I do find spots that I have missed so I just want to make sure that I'm very thorough. I'm going to continue with this section until it is fully coated and I will move on to the next bottom section and I leave the top sections for last. Moving on to the other bottom section, I'm just going to brush it out and repeat all the other steps that I did on the left section and use the back of my hand as support to get the hair dye on and just keep going until it is done. This is more of a repeat process. Once you have it down, it's really easy to accomplish. It's just practice makes perfect and I didn't do it this technique until recently it's taken me a while because I had someone always do it for me and I just started doing it by myself so it makes it easier for me to do but you don't have to do it this way it's just what works for me I've just skipped ahead and moving along because it's a lot of repeat I'm moving on to the top section of my hair and I'm still using the same technique I'm using the back of my hand to brush on the hair product and make sure it's evenly coated uh, as you can see, the hair dye is all over me, but I can't help it. The hair does touch my neck. Um, I didn't have any problem after I got out of the shower. So I just keep doing that until I'm done, and I really find that brushing it out really helps while dyeing your hair. My cousin used to dye my hair, and she used to do it after, but I just felt that that pulled my hair a lot. So doing it during dyeing your hair really is much easier. So now I just look like a hot mess with hair dye all over me, but I'm just taking a wipe to remove everything. And now I'm going to go wash my hair and I'll be back. So now I'm out of the shower, I put some makeup on, and now it's time to dry my hair. I'm going to show you three products that I love using, and I will list them down below. I just like to run them through my hair, and then I will detangle and use the same white tooth comb. I don't like to use a brush because I feel like it pulls my hair too much, so using the white tooth comb is just what I prefer and it's much easier to detangle. Now I'm just going to blow dry my hair and it's pretty fast because I like to use blow dry it quick dry primer spray from L'Oreal and it's also a heat protectant. It is one of the sprays that I put in uh, previously and I just use my Conair blow dryer and I just use a downward motion to blow dry my hair and it's just what I prefer because it blow dries my hair straight. So guys this is the end result of me dyeing my hair. I like this color how it is now and then it'll wash out and it'll get a little bit brighter as it goes on but it is even and nice 
and I have no marks all over. I do have these. It looks like it's a shadow, but I have tons and tons of baby hair and it just turns blonde in the sun. So when I re-dye my hair, it looks like I have shadow marks, but it's not. It literally is baby peach fuzz that I have. So I can't do anything about it once I dye it. I love this hair dye. It doesn't leave my hair feeling dry and the conditioner that I use with it, the L'Oreal conditioner, it makes my hair so soft and just nice and it gives a little shine to it because it has little sparkles in the conditioner which I love. And I left it in for about five minutes. I will leave all the links down below of all the products that I use. So this is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye!